Hey, good morning. It's Matt with McGee Farms. Enjoying a beautiful day here in northeastern Missouri. About 7.30 in the morning, sun's coming up. Springtime in May. And uh, one thing I was going to talk about a little bit today is black flies, buffalo gnats, uh, no see -ums. They go by a couple different names, but this time of year, uh, here in the Midwest and a lot of other places, you get these things, they get in your nose, they get in your ears, and when they bite, they leave these big old welts, and it seems like regular bug spray doesn't do anything for them. So, here's kind of what we found that works to, uh, to a certain degree. Nothing works great. Uh, first of all, you know, if you're outside, especially if you've got short hair, I serve in the Navy, so I've always got very short hair, and they get all over me. Got them right now while I'm trying to get in my ear. Uh, especially they'll get like on your hair and it drives you nuts. Wearing a hat when you're outside, uh, especially if you're mowing, uh, at least it keeps them off of your hair a little bit. They don't like the shade. Another thing I found is you go into uh, the big box stores or you get on Amazon and uh, you get like a mosquito net, like a bug head net. A little bit of a pain, especially if it's like 90 degrees outside, but it does help keep them off of you. The main thing, this stuff, every once in a while I'll find it at a gas station. Uh, usually I end up ordering it off of uh, Amazon, but uh, Buggins is the uh, brand name. This stuff, it, it works good. Works about 20 minutes and then they come back. So about every 20 minutes you got to respray it. But uh, just a little bit. It's basically uh, vanilla. I think that it's got something else in there. Uh, vanilla keeps them off. Peppermint keeps them off. If you kind of mix the two together, you know, at least it's not too bad of a smell. But uh, uh, it does repel them. Like I said, it lasts about 20 minutes and it kind of wears off. Uh, our chickens, one thing... You know, they'll kill an entire flock of chickens if you get a bad infestation of them. They get in and they block their nasal cavities. I haven't heard of them killing larger animals, but I mean, that would be a possibility. And what we do in our chicken house too is we'll take a, uh, a sock and we'll soak it in vanilla and then we hang it on where they perch up at. And then we keep a fan going in there as well. And with that, they don't come in, they don't like moving air, and uh, they do not like vanilla, so that does help a little bit. If I'm on the tractor and uh, or ATV and I'm mowing, I always keep my sunglasses on. Helps keep them out of your eyes a little bit. Good pair of Bluetooth uh, headphones, which if I'm on the tractor anyway, I like uh, listening to my tunes, so you know, at least it keeps them off your ears a little bit. Problem with these, is uh you know if you wear wide brim hats i like wearing hats i've got a couple different uh, ones that i wear quite a bit these aren't going to fit with the hat i got on now so you know of course ball cap your headphones you can get the earbuds but when i'm on the tractor uh, i'm an aircraft mechanic so my hearing's not the best to begin with so uh earbuds once the tractor gets going i can't hear my music as well Plus, uh, I think I just have uh, weird shaped ears because uh, they tend to fall out of my ear. I mean, they've got some that kind of clip to the back of your ear, but then they're uncomfortable. I don't like them. So, you know, I just use the ones that go straight in your ear. But again, if I'm on the tractor and I've got the throttle up, I can't hear what I'm listening to. So, uh, Black Friday special, uh, Bluetooth, I don't know. J Lab Skull Candy, something like that. Uh, you know, 19 bucks. These have lasted me so far for like five, five years, four years. And uh, when they crap out, I'll just wait till Black Friday and buy another pair. Plus, it uh, keeps my ears from getting sunburned since I'm really bad about uh, forgetting to put sunblock on. Although I know I should, and I get reminded a lot hey, you need to put sunblock on. But anyway, Hopefully uh, that helps. I, uh, I'll put a link down in the description to uh, this stuff. Like I said, this is the only spray other than vanilla that I found that really works 
to keep them off. I mean, when I first sat down here, right as I started the camera, they were starting to swarm me a little bit. I sprayed it. Now they're leaving me alone. 20 minutes, they'll be back, and uh, I'll spray it again. This stuff stays on the tractor and the four-wheeler with me. I actually have a bottle of it. I keep in uh, the toolbox of all the tractors and the four-wheelers, so if I forget it and I'm out and they start hitting me, at least I'm covered. So Hopefully it helps if you're dealing with these uh, pests. The good thing is it's about the end of May, so within middle of next month, they should be gone. Once the temperature here gets to a certain degree, we don't see them again until next year, but that month that we see them, they are horrible. So hopefully if you're dealing with them and uh, trying to figure out what to do to keep them off of you, hopefully this uh, helps you out. If you enjoy the channel, enjoy some of the videos we're making, please uh, consider subscribing to us, maybe leaving us a like, uh, some comments. It's always appreciated. We look at all the comments and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.